What is up guys, Gronk here with the introduction for my Minnesota Timberwolves Association for NBA 2K13. I simulate the first season to try to make it more realistic because the 2012 NBA season already happened, but here you see, uh, simulate the first season, now we're in the off season and I'm looking at my staff. I hire some prospect scouts and I think I hired a new assistant coach and I would try to hire a new head coach, but Rick Adelman is still the head coach for now because I couldn't afford to hire a new head coach, but the, I wanted to. There's Doc Rivers, a lot of other good coaches available, but I didn't have enough money, so hopefully if we do get to next off season, I can hopefully at that point sign a new head coach or Adelman will retire, hopefully. But we'll see what happens. We keep a dull man for now, and now we're gonna look at the off season. I will be sticking with this one though because I did get the HDP VR a few weeks ago, so the, it shouldn't glitch up like the Rockstar did, which is why I restarted my association mode with a new team. And I was I didn't like the 76ers how that was going anyway. But Dante Cunningham, we declined his option, or we accepted. I went back and forth. I didn't know which. We extend an offer to Chase Buttinger or Chase Budinger, I don't know how to pronounce it, and Nikola Pekovic, also for agent, but we, we extend an offer to Budinger and not to Pekovic. Um, I just wanted to have some cap room before free agency, but with the draft, we have the 7th just overall pick, and the 2nd round, we have the 6th overall pick in the 2nd round. But now it's time for the draft. 1st overall pick is... Nerlens Noel, the center out of Kentucky. 1st overall to the Atlanta Hawks. Alex Len, the center, 2nd overall to the Pistons. Otto Porter Jr., third overall to the Kings. Trey Burke, fourth overall to the Bobcats. And I declined every trade. I want to keep this realistic, at least to begin. Adams, the center. Oh, so three centers in the top five already. Five, actually. Dang to the Hornets. And now I looked at who I could take. I could take Kentavious Caldwell Pope. I could take Anthony Bennett, the real life first overall pick. I could take Ben McElmore, and I wanted to take McElmore, but I took him in the 76ers Association. I wanted to make this one new and not like the 76ers Association. Victor Oladipo, I was tempted to take him. It said he could turn into an all-star, and I compared him to J.R. Smith, but also you yeah, see Franklin, C.J. McCollum, Shane Larkin, a lot of talented guys that I could have taken, and I know who to pick. Shabazz Muhammad, Kanan, Lido, I really didn't know who to take, and I was... Just didn't know and I was just trying to decide and eventually I would go with not Macklemore but the lottery projected pick Victor Oladipo the shooting guard I went with him just decided to change up in real life he went second overall to the magic which I found out and then I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that the small forward goes to the Celtics all Nick goes to the Suns Mason Pumley goes to the Raptors Jeff Woodley, a lot of centers in, the, in this first round already. I declined to say there. Michael Carter Williams to the Golden State Warriors. Sage Jim McCollum to the Trail Blazers. Shane Larkin goes to the Bucks. Parham to the Jazz. Tony Snell to the Pacers. Pierre Jackson to the Knicks. Deshaun Thomas to the Clippers. Solomon Hill to the Rockets. Contavious Global Pope falls all the way to the Wizards. Ennis, or Anthony Bennett falls all the way 22nd to the Nets when in real life he was the first overall pick. Ray McCollum to the Spurs. Ben Mockmore does go to the 76ers, as in my actual, in my former association. Sabaz so Muhammad to the Grizzlies. Brown to the Lakers. Franklin to the Nuggets. Kanan to the Heat. Cody Zeller to the Thunder. And I decline a trade here. And Goodwin to the Bulls. And that wraps up the first round. So we took Victor Oladipo. And a pretty impactful for first round, a lot of surprising moves. Bennett falling all the way, 22nd to the Knicks. Nerland's Noel going first overall to the Hawks. And now it's time for the second round. But still a lot of good players have not been selected. So now the co-commissioner, assistant commis commissioner, I don't know what, what this guy's job is. I'm pretty sure it's a assistant commissioner, but he reads the picks for the second round. So with the second round, we decline a trade here. Tony Mitchell at first in the second round, then Glenn Rice Jr. to the Kings. And Udrif to, I don't know how to pronounce that, to the Clippers. Karasev from Russia to the Clippers. Relaford, Siva, which declined trade here, and now we're on the clock anyway. So, looking through his scouted prospects, could have taken Lido. Said he's a good leaper, I'll send him to take him. Trish, I think that says. 
And I was trying to see here. A lot of talented players I could have taken. Everyone had their strengths and weaknesses. I mean, no matter what, every player doesn't have strengths and weaknesses. No matter who the player is. And a lot of second round or undrafted projected guys. And I'm looking around trying to see who to take. And I land on Seth Curry, the brother of Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors. I'm looking around. It's a tough decision. I mean, I wanted to make the right choice for both draft picks that I have in the first and second round. Because they're probably going to get a good amount of playing time. I was going to take Ricky Lido. He says he's a fairly good leaper and can take care of the rack with authority at times, so that means he's a good dunker. And I was just about to take him, but I decided not to. And I take Seth Curry, the, one of the best outside shooters in the draft. So Seth Curry, who was actually undrafted, I found out, after this draft. But look, Ricky Lido to the Celtics. If he was like rookie of the year, I'm going to be angry because I was going to take him. Leslie Walters to the Mavericks. Tim Hardaway Jr. falls all the way to the second round to the Golden State Warriors, so now Michael Carter-Williams and Tim Hardaway Jr. on the Golden State Warriors. They should make a good combo. Cabongo to the Jazz. Covington to the Pacers. So the Pacers took two big men. Nidovic to the Knicks. Gobert to the Rockets. Snare to the Magic. Crab to the Bulls. Williams to the Wizards. Scott to the Cavaliers. Seth Curry, and I don't know why it asked me to trade Seth Curry when I haven't even pl played with him yet. I was like, no, I'm not going to trade him. I want to test him out at least. McGruder to the Grizzlies, Lions to the Lakers, Paul to the Nuggets, Turner Jr., Th Thunder, and the Heat with Kelly. I don't, I don't know. It says, like on the list, it says the Heat, but then right there it says the Thunder. I don't know who who's that. But 80 overall, defense for Oladipo, and Seth Curry, not too good, but he's a good three-point shooter, so he'd be a good role player when we need him. So we signed both of those guys now free agency. Didn't have the most cap room, but here's a look at the news. The, so the Hawks take Nerlens Noel first overall. So I didn't have a lot of cap room and I wanted to sign a big free agent, but we do need a center and a small forward. Definitely those are our two teammates. Of course I want to sign Chris Paul or Brandon Jennings or Dwight Howard or someone like that, but I went to, to my team, my positions of need. Chase Budinger, we offered an, a qualifying offer to him, but he declined, evidently, because he's still a free agent. We go for Terrence Williams, trying to get him, to, mixing up his options and giving him a player option, just trying to get him on our team. We offer a contract to him. Chris Paul, of course, we want him. Corey Maggette, Chase Budinger, and we offer a contract to Budinger. Of course, I want to get Iguodala or one of these uh, upper quality guys, but here's the we have nowhere near enough cap room to sign Dwight Howard or any of the top guys. Pekovic was on our team and we didn't offer him a contract, but he declines our offer there again, but we give him more money and then a, a player option, and we give him a, a contract offer, hopefully he accepts. J.J. Hickson, offer him a contract, but we don't have enough cap room, so we can't sign J.J. Hickson. Andre Batch. Blatch, Chris Kamen, some of these big guys. We offer a contract to Blatch, but we don't have enough cap room. Well, actually, we do, but I think he declines. Brandon Wright, giving him a contract offer. Just trying to get some role player kind of guys. Probably, no, probably none of these guys are going to wind up being starters, except for Pekovic. Damian James, he declines the offer. J.R. Smith, be nice to get him, but again... Hope maybe next offseason we'll have more cap room, but for right now we do not have a lot of cap room, so we can't sign any of these big guys. And they're all big in terms of like these star players. I mean, it'd be awesome to get Chris Paul or some of these guys, like Nate, Nate Robinson, even Augustine, any of these guys. We offer a contract to Augustine, or Augustine, whatever you want to pronounce it. Patrick Mills, Sebastian Telfair, Will Bynum, some definite impact players we could sign. Jamal Tinsley. Goldenlock, I mean, we could we offer a contract to him. He's fairly young. He could be good and develop. Corey Brewer, Randy Foy, Tony Allen, J.J. Redick, Johnson Odom, Stevenson, Bellinelli. We do offer a contract to Bellinelli. But even if you do have enough cap room, that does not mean the players are automatically going to accept your offer. I mean, there are, what, 30 other teams in the NBA, but they're in lure. We offer a contract to him, but he declines the offer. David West would be cool to get. Trey Tompkins, we offer him a contract. And then here he decided to start simulating. And we're waiting for... Here they see 
Brandon Wright and Chase Budinger do accept our offers, but not enough cap room to sign Brandon Wright. So a lot of offers got declined. We still need a center, but Nikola Pekovic does accept. So now we don't have any team needs. Now we could just build some depth at our positions, but other than that, we seem to be pretty set, but we do not have a lot of cap room. Still looking at the phase and seeing if there's anybody that I want to sign just to come off the bench. Carlos Delfino, he's a good three-point shooter. Jay Crowder. James Johnson we give a contract to. Maybe he'll accept. But apparently he does not. So now we go to training camp. And we do have a good, a good amount of points to spend. And we send Oladipo to big man offense. And that gives him better shot inside and shot medium. Perimeter shooting we send Seth Curry to. I mean that's kind of ridiculous because he's already one of the best outside shooters in the draft. But we do send Seth Curry to outside shooting. And now you see some rumors. Taj Gibson to the Mavericks. Coordinate lead to the Knicks, but they don't, they want to move him anyway. When looking at some news, and now we advance to next season. And I I just accidentally clicked the A button twice, so we're going we're not gonna have re real draft classes unfortunately. But the Thunder start the first in power rankings, and I'm excited for this association, guys. But a little spoiler alert: this association does not start well. But you'll see that next video. But here's see the Timberwolves start ranked. All the way down to 26. But thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Bye.